secure the screen in place. After you do this about 2,000 times, you could do it with your eyes. What I wanted to do was to use this rock, use this plant, and put it together. Put some soil on the bottom. This rocks more or less goes into place like this. And this one, <clears throat> I wanted to make it look like it's hanging over the rock. Simple enough. Add some soil. Now, for a professional finish, tuck in the corners, the edges like this. Where basically done except for the gravel so you notice that this like I said was a very shallow tray but we're able to put a plant in here and keep it alive and safe because we have such a mound in here so we have a slope on this side but this rock acts as um, uh, interest but it also is a retaining wall to keep the soil in place and that's sort of the key for uh, Boniwa is we're just creating illusions that it might be somewhat difficult to keep alive but it isn't. What I thought I'd do with this one is I have a grove of Japanese maples I thought that would be kind of nice to have and I put that in the back and then because this is a Boniwa we're looking to create a landscape more than uh, just individual trees. I thought I'll go ahead and take rock like this and perhaps a rock like this. Not quite happy with it. There's no really hard set of rules for rocks. When it's right, you'll know that it's right. Okay, I think that's more right than the first time I tried it. So I'm just gonna pack the soil. I need to round off the corners here so that it doesn't look like it just came out of a container and I should be done except for a shallow tray okay and what I want to do is to put this guy in there hopefully it'll work rake I'll go ahead and rake it out luckily the root ball hasn't from the big mass yet, so it's relatively easy. And what I wanted to do was to create a scene. So, oh, that's gonna work out just fine. It looks like it's gonna work. I think I wanna give it a little more drama by tilting it slightly more. That just means I have to add a little more soil on the backside. Okay, I'm getting the that effect that I wanted. So here's that um, big rocks that's more or less hollow. That works better. So we talked about it before, the one that is a very flat like this, it looks bulky, but it saves you the space. 
So here we go. A little more soil in here. Wiggle this in place. That is really what it's going to look like that. And then add the gravel. So very simple. Just in case you were wondering why I was in such a hurry to make three simple projects. Well, this was meant to come together as a unit. So um, this is another one of those things that I learned from Mr. Kawamoto. And instead of having one, sometimes you could have two and then even three as a, a complete unit or a set to uh, suggest a, a landscape to this project. It's going to be the gravel. Now we're going to use the same gravel on all three. And what we're trying to do is to say that uh, if there's a big lake in here, this is the bank, this is the other bank, and this is in the far distance. So by using same gravel in all three trays, it more or less ties your eye together. Remember, we were always talking about, we were gonna suggest something so that it is suggested that in this middle part here is all this lake. The lake is what's tying these three uh, presentations together. Let's take a close look. This is one shore. And that's the shore in way in the distance. And this is the other shore. And what's in the middle is a imaginary lake. That's what Boniwa, Hakoniwa, and Saike is all about. Although it's different names, we're trying to accomplish basically the same goal, is to give you this sense that it is huge, natural, and hopefully old.